In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the ice maker fan in your Whirlpool refrigerator. If you need to buy a new ice maker fan, check out our website, partsdoctor.com, where we sell parts for all major appliance brands. The ice maker fan moves cold air to the ice box and ice maker. If this fan fails, the ice maker may not get cold enough to produce ice or ice in the door bin may begin to melt. For this repair, unplug or disconnect the power and water supply to the refrigerator. The ice maker fan is located here. To get access, we'll need to remove the top panel, ice box fascia, and ice box assembly. First, we need to remove the four shelves. To remove, lift up on the front of the shelf, then up on the back and out to remove. Repeat the same on the remaining shelves. Now, open the water filter compartment and remove these two screws with a quarter inch nut driver. Then, Firmly grab the top panel within the water filter opening and pull down. This will require some force. Be careful as it's still connected by a wire. Next, disconnect the electrical connector by depressing the locking tab. Next, remove the black waterline retaining clip by placing your fingers on the back side and pulling out and down to release the locking tabs. This may be tricky. Then disconnect the yellow water line by pushing the retaining collar in while pulling the line out. This may be difficult. When removed, water may drip from the valve. Next, disconnect these three electrical connectors by depressing the locking tabs. There are three locking tabs holding the fascia in place. Using a flat blade screwdriver, depress the locking tabs. Then, carefully separate the fascia from the fridge as it is still connected by a wire. Now, gently depress the locking tab on the connector and remove the fascia. Next, using a quarter inch nut driver, remove these two screws. Then, Pull the ice box assembly towards the front of the fridge to release the locking tabs. Now, peel back the tape and remove the green, white, and black wires from the retainers. Next, using a flat blade screwdriver, remove these five screws. Now, pull and tilt up on the back edge of the cover and slide it out of the retaining tabs across the front. Then, push and feed the green, white, and black wire retainer and wire through the cover. To remove the foam insulation, carefully lift it up. Yeah. 
Now, disconnect the fan's electrical connector by depressing the locking tab. Then, lift the fan out. When shopping for a new ice maker fan, be sure you're searching with the model number from the tag on your appliance to make sure you get the correct part. To install the fan, position it with the blower opening facing the ice maker, align to the retaining prongs, and set in place. Then, reconnect the electrical connector. To install the foam, align and press down. Now, feed the ice maker wire harness through the opening on the cover and press the retainer in place. Then, rotate the cover, slide it under the retaining tabs, press down, and reinstall the screws. Next, feed the wires back in the retainers. To install the ice box, align the locking tabs on the box to the slots on the top of the fridge and press to the back to lock in place. Make sure the water line is in the correct location. Then, reinstall the two screws. To install the fascia, start by positioning it so the small vents are on the left. Then, reconnect the electrical connector. Now, insert the top, rotate down, and snap the three tabs back in place. Next, reconnect the three electrical connectors by aligning and pressing until they snap in place. Now, reinsert the water line by aligning and pressing until it seats in place. Give a slight pull to ensure it's installed properly. Then, position the black water line retaining clip with the guides facing out and push up to snap in place. To install the top panel, first reconnect the LED electrical connector. Now, insert the three retaining tabs on the back of the top panel to the retainers on the fridge compartment. Then, firmly press the panel up to lock into place. And reinstall the two screws. To install the shelves, insert at an angle, hook the rear tabs at the desired height, and tilt down. With everything put back together, reconnect the power and water supply to the refrigerator. Allow up to 24 hours for the ice maker to cool down and to start making ice. 
That's it for this video. If you learned something new, hit that like button. And if you enjoy fixing things and want to see more videos like this and these, please consider subscribing.